Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be our last day in Mecca, and as you guys probably saw in the last video, we completed our Hajj and we had an extra day. So I said, why not take you guys along and show you Masjid Nimra, Jabal Rahmat, and Arafat after Hajj. Of course, there will be way more stuff to show in this video, but that's for you guys to find out. So watch till the end and enjoy. As you see in this frame right now, this is a university called Umm al Qura University. It was one of the first in the whole country and it was actually named College of Sharia or Islamic Law back in 1949. Then they eventually changed the name after they had more subjects added. They have engineering, technology, they have business management, they have Islamic management, marketing and stuff like that. So it's a full-fledged college and you can also apply to this. There's uh, plenty of information online and you can apply even if you're non-Saudi, they have scholarships. So if you're interested, you can apply. You can just search it up on Google. The link will come up and it's pretty simple. This is Mount Arafah. Mount Arafah is also known as Jabir Rahma, which translates to Mountain of Mercy. Mount Arafah is a hill in the valley of Arafat outside of Mecca, where the Prophet wasallam gave his last sermon after completing the Hajj. And this is Arafat after Hajj is completed. As you can see, they're disassembling all the tents. The AC units are going back on these trucks. And that's what Arafat is. You know, it's just a bare land. And if you come in normal days, you will not find anyone here at all. And you can get like a sense of what it looks like in normal days right here because all of the tents in this area were already taken down. This is Masjid Nimra. Masjid Nimra is full with Islamic history and there are a lot of cool facts about this but I would like to mention a couple. One of the facts is that when the Prophet was um, doing his farewell hajj, he camped right where Masjid Nimra is built and he gave his most famous sermon sitting on his camel here. And when he led the salah, there were more than 100,000 sahaba accompanying him on this hajj. And of course, this masjid wasn't built back then, it was built later on. This is the grave of Hazrat Khadija radiallahu anha and this is located in Jannatul Mala in Mecca. Jannatul Mala is walking distance from the Kaaba and if you would like to go visit you can go after Asr because that's when it opens.
So I just finished the Waf of Vida and now I'm heading upstairs to wrap up this vlog. I finished the Waf within 20 minutes here and I got lucky enough to get close to the Kaaba and grab a couple of shots for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now let's head upstairs. Alright, so we finished the Waf of Vida and now we're going to head back to the hotel. It's been a pretty good past 10 days here in Makkah. And, um, you know, it, it, it was definitely going to be very memorable for me. Overall, it was a great experience. Tomorrow we have a train to catch at 12 p.m. We're taking the HHR, which is their new bullet train. So I'm gonna cover that in the morning. I'm gonna leave like around 10.30, even though it's only 15 minutes. We've never done it before, so I, you know, I'd rather not take a risk. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series. We are nearly to the finish and the upcoming vlogs are going to be very, very special because I'm going to Medina and I'm sure each and every one of you guys love exploring Medina. So I hope you guys enjoyed the upcoming vlogs. I thank you so much again. Take care. Peace.